Tanga and Balanga. That should be the name. Tanga and Balanga in Australia. Good morning from Namibia in Africa. This is Victor 51. Mike Alpha. Name is Mike. Mike India Kilo Echo. Solid 5 and 9 all the way from down under. And I hope all is well. Uh, good morning, Brenton. Wow, I tell you what, um, didn't expect that. Had great contact with ZSX RAY Ray. He was good five and nine, and um, was just having a bit of a play around with that direction on the antenna a bit. I think Ray, Ray actually uh, headed me the right direction, which was good. <laughs> I probably was heading a little low, I think actually. And um, uh, but then to have, uh, I had to, I had to look up uh, uh, Victor Fifty One um, uh, as you, and then as I was looking it up, you said Namibia, and I thought, oh yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not, of course. Maybe I wouldn't have guessed it so fast, but uh, certainly um, I think that's my first contact into Namibia. So um, thank you for that. I've, look, I really appreciate it. And uh, I don't get on 10 metres enough lately and so good to um, get a contact like yourself. How is life treating you in uh, Namibia? Uh, Victor 51, Mike Alpha, VK3, Charlie Mike. Yeah, Roger Brenton, QSL, fantastic signal on 10, absolutely beautiful to get uh, down under on 10 meter in the lock. And uh, all good in Namibia, we're heading towards uh, spring. Uh, first, uh, the summer is uh, almost here, our temperatures has been climbing. Uh, so there you go, this is Mike in Namibia. Uh, yesterday we've been hitting 3, 2 degrees, Charlie, wow. in the midday. So quite hot in the afternoon, so I think this summer uh, Namibia will be cooking with uh, all the global weather changes and uh, whatever it, it comes along. And uh, so all good in Namibia. And uh, at the moment, uh, as I said, uh, 20.4 degrees. Charlie outside, it is quarter past nine, 20.5 degrees. Hopefully we'll get uh, uh, to the mid-30s again. So uh, that's uh, what we've been up to uh, in Namibia. Uh, Victor Kilo, see Charlie Mike, it was my pleasure to give you Namibia in your log and thank you for answering. Uh, the call from Africa, VK3, Charlie, Mike, Victor, 51, Mike, Alpha. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah, my, thank you. <laughs> it's the other way around. <laughs> yeah, no, you really excited me. I, not much um, excites me on amateur radio these days. I, I, look, don't get me wrong. I, I mean, in, a, um, in the nicest way, uh, but generally, um, you know, it's countries that we've worked all the time. And um, to be honest, I don't work a lot of South Africa. So that was great talking to Ray today. And um, but then Namibia, my goodness, that's even better. <laughs> so you guys have um, both of you have made my day. And uh, I actually spoke to um, uh, a ZS1 uh, GVW Granville uh, on 490. But I just wanted to get off 490. It was getting pretty busy there and thought we'll come up to 505 and um, just keep the frequency clear a little bit. And uh, a few of the other Australians wanted to work him. And it uh, uh, worked out to be a good plan because um, uh, I, I reckon on, um, on 28490, which it's not a call frequency, but over here in Australia, a lot of people, it's a bit of a debate. And, um, uh, but certainly it's a frequency that you know, we all tend to go to here and we start there and go somewhere else as such. And, um, uh, but if you came up on 28490 in Namibia, I might not have got you. you know, sort of, <laughs> it's a lot of strong stations, stronger stations than me on um, on uh, 10 meters, that's for sure. But uh, no, thank you for the call. And um, uh, over here, we're just finishing up our winter pr fairly soon here. Um, just starting to get the chill um, off the air. We're not too far from uh, sort of um, Fall Falls Creek Snowfields, which is a fairly popular tourist spot here. And um, uh, we're, we're down quite a bit lower than uh, Falls Creek, but um, certainly uh, our winters tend to be you know, pretty chilly. They get fairly cold, but we're just starting to notice right now that yep, uh, it's, uh, we're about to sort of transition out of that, um, that winter weather um, and you won't have your heaters on so much and the fire going so much. And uh, of course, you guys will head the other direction. Uh, well, I suppose, no, you, you're down in South uh, Namibia. Your climate's probably very different. Um, uh, yeah, actually, you might want to comment on that. It'd be interesting um, uh, just um, how much uh, the climate change, uh, not climate change, sorry, the difference in climate from Australia over here. Um, I always think of, say, the US or the UK is, is, um, is very much the opposite to us. But of course, over there, you may follow some of the same trends as us, um, um, maybe a little bit warmer when we're not so uh, warm. You might get warmer a little bit earlier. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, and now I'm expecting you, uh, uh, <laughs> Mike, to be the weatherman. Uh, Victor 51, Mike Alpha, v uh, VK3, Charlie Mike. 
Yeah, right to there, Brent. And uh, okay, regarding the whiskey, actually, in Namibia, uh, we don't have a long winter season, uh, maximum three months. Uh, we get um, our our very cold conditions come from the southern portion of the uh, from the Atlantic Ocean down uh, from the Atlantic, south down, South Atlantic Ocean, coming from that portion of uh, Antarctica, pushing up some cold whiskey extra cold fronts over the southern uh, ZS divisions over southern Africa. And then uh, we get some uh, some short tail colds uh, through the southern part of Namibia in the winter. We get temperatures. Uh, we had temperatures below zero uh, already in uh, in our country. There was some some light snow already in the southern portions of uh, of Namibia. Up so further up north, you go uh, the further you go to the northern part of Namibia, the warmer it gets. At the moment, the furthest point up north there in Namibia on the border of Angola. Uh, the temperatures is well above 35 degrees, but on average, through summer, uh, through autumn, and also through spring, uh, we have temperatures from uh, 25 up to 35 degrees. Uh, we can get higher than that. Last season, we had temperatures uh, very close to the 40s. So uh, there was uh, there was times when uh, it was extremely hot, uh, very dry at the moment. Uh, no rain. We most probably start our rain season only in, in uh, October. Uh, hopefully, uh, as they predict, some uh, some above average rainfall in Namibia. But very well, uh, very well said. Um, not an expert on whiskey X-ray. I follow a bit of of uh, weather patterns uh, globally through the satellites and uh, satellite charts and all that, and uh, just make uh, follow a bit of predictions from the people that knows the weather better than me. But uh, that's uh, the life in Namibia. Average, above average, very dry, uh, very hot, uh, very popular for tourists uh, from Europe, especially uh, when the cold conditions is in Europe. It's much warmer than uh, Namibia. It's much warmer in Namibia than in Europe, and then they all come uh, live a few weeks here in uh, Namibia. Thank you for coming on, Brenton. It was my pleasure to meet you this morning on 10 from Namibia in Africa. P73, stay safe, mate. Have a wonderful weekend. And good luck to the team uh, in the rugby uh, matches coming up. You can see Charlie Mike and Victor 51, Mike Alpha. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Thanks very much, Mike. Victor 51, Mike Alpha. This is Victor Kilo 3, Charlie Mike. And um, yeah, look, um, it's funny, over here, especially on the East Coast, you're either a rugby fan or you're an Australian uh, rules uh, fan. And um, because I come from South Australia, uh, I'm, I'm an Australian rules fan, so I, I don't know a lot about the rugby, <laughs> which becomes embarrassing in the pubs over here because they do. They, um, they definitely know their teams well and they, they, they love it. And, um, uh, but uh, look, thanks very much for that, uh, Mike. Fantastic to, uh, to chat with you and to learn a bit about uh, your side of the world. And um, always curious just to know a bit more. And uh, I'll, um, uh, I'll certainly keep an eye out for you. Uh, who knows, this might become a regular thing. <laughs> anyway, mate, 73 is to you. Victor 51, Mike Alpha in Namibia. This is VK3 Charlie Mike. Thanks again, mate. All the best. You have a good one. Well done. Sorry for the long pronunciation on on uh, on the uh, QTA. But anyway, you stay safe. God bless you. Stay well there, uh, down under. And uh, listen out for me when I'm on 10. Uh, Beaming short pass from uh, Victor 51 Division out of Africa. Good morning from Namibia. Bye bye, Brendan. Thank you. Tan Gambalanga, you did it so well. You did well. <laughs> 73 is Mike. All the best. Hey, uh, outside Mike, uh, Kangaroo Island, uh, Mike, over. 30 over. Yeah, Mike, outside Kangaroo Island, Mike, over. Thank you. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Mike. I would rather go 10 down, 5 down, 10 down, 5 up is busy on my side. There's a big, big station in South Africa. He's right, there is. To Namibia on 10. So let's go 500, 500 zero, zero, and see if we can get the frequency clear from 505. Over. All right, 500. See you, boys. See you, uh, everybody. Cheers. Appreciate that. All the best. I'll just check if anybody else is there. VK3, Charlie, Mike. Otherwise, we'll go clear. And um, actually, I should have just let the boys stay, to be honest. Um, uh, VK3, Charlie, Mike. Just check there's no other stations in Africa. VK3, CM. 
That looks like it. Good afternoon here, Brenton. VK6 Alpha Delta Mike. VK6 Alpha Delta Mike, big signal. Let me uh, just finish up this video. Guys, um, thanks very much for having a look at this video. And uh, uh, that was a great contact with Mike, um, Victor51 Mike Alpha. First for me, I haven't worked in Namibia before. So, um, all right, guys, 73 is all the best. Cheers, guys.